Okay, let's get into our 2020 Toyota Camry TRD. We do have a passive entry. Uh, it only allows for front door access, so no sensors to unlock or lock on the rear doors. But we can see there's a lock sensor with the ridges right there. An unlock, we just put our hand behind. We have a power driver seat with two-way lumbar control. All the windows are auto up and down, front and rear. We have power door locks, the child safety window switch, and then the power mirror control, left, right, and off. Over here on the left, we have buttons for automatic high beam control. Uh, one interesting thing is you can turn the system on uh, but then to also activate the system, you need to set the headlight to uh, the high beam position. Traction control off, uh, hold to open the trunk, hold to open the fuel door. So the fuel door does not do the push open, push close uh, that we're seeing on a lot of vehicles today. Uh, Toyota still wants you to push a button in the cabin. We have buttons to reset the trip meter and then the brightness and dimness of the gauges themselves. We have push button start right here. So put your foot on the brake, as it tells you, push the button. And you get your TRD specific message in your information cluster. So these have red gauges. Uh, right now it's easy to see, but in, sometimes in the daylight, uh, the red script was actually kind of hard to make out. And so I wish it was kind of white during the daytime and then maybe red uh, for kind of that softer light at night. We have your typical window wipers control here. Uh, push up once for mist. Then we have off, the intermittent pause, so low and then high. Over here on the headlight control, uh, it's in auto mode right now. You can turn the daytime running lights off, or you can manually turn just the parking lights or the full headlights. And again, high beam, you push away or you can pull to flash. We do have flappy paddle shifters on the steering wheel here. On the right side is a lot of your driver assistance controls up here. So this controls the cruise control system. Uh, on the right, cruise control on, cruise control off. The gap or distance setting for follow. Lane departure alert system, uh, turning that on and off. On the left, we have the five-way controller for the screen. Uh, so you can either select OK or hit back to come back out of the menu. You have your Bluetooth phone. And then along the bottom, you have the volume control for your audio system, uh, voice command, again, mode for the audio system. And you can either you know, go forward or back uh, for your channels or tracks. Over here is the infotainment system. Uh, so this is actually going to be one element that's going to be changing in the 2021. Uh, we'll put some pictures up. It'll come to a ta more tablet style that kind of sticks out in front of the dash here. And these vents will move kind of just below uh, the main radio head unit now. We do still have a volume knob, a tune knob. So it's nice to have both of those together. Uh, this is a pretty big screen and we do have the ability to do Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Uh, the USB for that is right here. Um, you know, it's nice and handy to have and you can put your phone on the tray. At night, it's completely dark down here. So if you haven't had your USB plugged in, it's kind of hard to find. Uh, a lot of automakers are now putting kind of like a ring of light uh, around the USB to kind of help you find it at night. We have a tray that we can push back. Uh, no wireless charging in the Camry TRD. We have a straight shifter and with a TRD specific knob. So once you put your foot on the brake, you can just you know pull it straight back, pull the lever, push it straight up. 
You have your drive mode selectors, so eco, normal, and sport. Hold for the parking brake hold as you inch along in traffic. If you want to use that feature, we'll go over that and see the kind of icons that come up. Interesting that the system can't be uh, turned on unless your driver's seatbelt is on. And then the electric parking brake. Uh, so pull up to engage the brake, push to release. Uh, cup holders are nice. They have these kind of spring tensioners to hold cups in place. And we have a rubber insert uh, for easy cleaning, should anything spill. Do you have a locking glove box? So that's nice. Uh, it can kind of fit all your manuals, and but it's not very tall. Uh, and we have bottle holders on the doors, plenty big enough for water bottles. The passenger seat in the TRD is not power, it is a manual seat. So you have a bar down there and then a lever on the side. In the middle console, we have two more USBs. Let's get out and see the back. No rear vents in the TRD model and no specific power point back here either. Uh, we do not have a armrest uh, for the center passengers or for the center rear seat and the headrests are not adjustable. So for us with we have our Diono car seat, our seat back protector, we can normally kind of loop this over uh, the headrest but kind of really hard to get that around this kind of bulky headrest and speaking of bulky headrests the front passenger the front headrest so for both driver and passenger is positioned quite a bit forward um, we found it a little uncomfortable for kind of day-to-day -day driving we wish it could you know position back a little bit it kind of feels like it's pushing your head forward and down um, for just everyday driving use Again, no sunroof in this model, but plenty of headroom. We see adjustable seat belt anchors uh, for the front passengers. This is something that we're seeing come and go uh, for a lot of vehicles uh, in the industry. So do you actually use your seat belt height adjuster? And because it's a sporty TRD version, we get nice uh, red seat belts, which, you know, I, I like this. I like the kind of pop in the cabin that would be otherwise, you know, pretty dark. Other notes, uh, you can see very specific seat belt usage uh, for the rear seat passengers. Uh, you can see the left, middle, and right seat passenger, whether they have their seat belt uh, connected or not and then for the front seat passenger along with the airbag system indicator uh, right there on the dash. Single zone automatic climate control system. So uh, temperature on the left, auto, and then this controls if you want manual fan speed. And you can toggle through the various modes of where you want to direct your air here front and rear defog and recirculate with uh, inside air or fresh air. No auto dimming on the mirror, so your traditional kind of day night mode here. Toyota has done a really good job now of backlighting a lot of controls and we'll put those pictures up now. Um, one area that they didn't backlight the controls though is for the overhead lights in the front. Uh, so it's not a push type here. There's obviously a button here you can see during the daytime, but at night I often find myself kind of fumbling looking for the switch. It would be nice if that portion uh, was lit as well. The trunk, there is a button 
it is under on the right side right here so that does pop it up it does pop up all the way open we've got our gear in the back we don't have a pull handle to kind of uh, help pull the trunk closed so you're going to end up you know putting your hand here there's probably going to be a lot of fingerprints uh, right alongside the trunk would have liked to have seen that and when you do pop it open from the key fob so you have you know pretty simple buttons here when you hold it does pop up all the way open some people find that helpful some people um, you know think that that would you know if you mistakenly pop the trunk it pops it open all the way and lets everyone see that your trunk is open uh, so let us know what do you think do you, would you rather have the trunk just pop all the way open to help you load things or would you rather kind of like pop open just a little bit this is the trd version so the seats do not fold down they've added extra bracing uh, behind the seat back and between the trunk to help with the rigidity of the body and so you lose that flexibility but it is still a quite sizable trunk uh, it did accommodate a pretty good costco run for the family front splitter is pretty low so may need to watch out for parking curbs Hopefully that gives you guys a good idea of what it's like to live day in and day out with the 2020 Toyota Camry. Thanks so much and be sure to click subscribe.